My tie look all right. <laughs> the horse snow on it now a little bit. Thanks. <laughs> Guess what, boy? The Montreal Comedy Festival starts today. <laughs> <laughs> and as luck would have it, we have a French Canadian in our audience. <laughs> now, a lot of people claim to be French Canadians, but there's a few simple tricks we can use, because it's so great to be one. <laughs> There's a few simple tricks that we can perform to make sure that we really have a genuine Quebecois. <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. Can you say it? <laughs> go on, have a try. <laughs> All right, let's go and see if we've really got a French Canadian. <laughs> you think so? All right, let out the way and let me check. <laughs> Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Good, good start. <laughs> Bonsoir. Bonsoir. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. When I tap you on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. I didn't know Craig could speak French so well. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Okay. Astrid, de la BTB Témiscamingue. On a au Québec. Excuse me a second. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah. May I ask uh, what you're doing in uh, Los Angeles this fine July day? Do you want me to say it from in French or in English? Oh, please, in English. Your English, English is, is, is charming so, and adorable. Oh, thank no, you. It's very much. nice. I'm with a group of students, film students, who just graduate. Oh, yes. well done. Do you make yes. films uh, in French or English? French. Ah, so it's films about ennui. Ou <laughs> <laughs> Xavier Dolan. Oui. <laughs> oui. <laughs> Well, luckily enough, we've, uh, how many people are you here with? Uh, tonight, three. But right, three, that's toi in French. Uh, <laughs> so that's quatre all together? Yes, oh. quatre. <laughs> so um, where are we going to send them, Michael, for dinner? Well, why not send them to a French restaurant? <laughs> where would you rather go, an Italian or French restaurant? Uh, Italian. <laughs> I mean, from France. Yeah, I know you're not. France? You're fr oh, I see. So yeah. you've got nothing. To, that was nothing to do with you then, France. No, exactly. No. Would you like to go to a Canadian restaurant? No, then? no, 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 no. We could get you some poutine. Oh, nice poutine. Do I like. Oh, one? I've had poutine. Yeah, I've. You're good. Did you like it? I always no. like it. No, I did. What, what? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, I liked poutine. I like. Wait, I'm trying to make it. Uh, I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to make it sound dirty, you know. Uh, with poutine. Poutine, yeah, you know, poutine, poutine. yeah, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, an Italian restaurant. What one is it, uh, Michael? La Canda Veneta. That's Italian for La Canda Veneta. Ooh. Thanks for coming, Astrid. You've really made <laughs> it very French Canadian so uh. far. <laughs> Ferguson, sponsored by the Lincoln Summer Invitation. Visit your Lincoln showroom today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
That's great, everybody. Thank you. I feel you really gave me a 10 there. <laughs> Do you hear the warm-up comedian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we call him a warm-up comedian. He's not, he's not uh, really a comedian. Not really a comedian, no, no, but he says to them before he goes, give, give me a 10, give me a 10. And I'm like, if they give me a 10, I'm not coming out. <laughs> That's too good for us. We That's don't want a 10. That's too good for me. I, an 8 is fine for me. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you make do with a 6. <laughs> Well, you know, you do what you can. Sure, you, sure. You, I you, you work with what you've been given. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Good crowd, though, eh? Yeah, great crowd. Hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, <laughs> yeah. um, now, um, a couple of <laughs> very, a couple of very big birthdays today. We should go out of the way. Happy birthday, former Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld, and happy birthday to convicted uh, felon O.J. Simpson. Ooh, all right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who, even after all these years, you say his name and people are like, <laughs> <laughs> Now, O.J. Simpson and Donald Rumsfeld, very different, of course. One got away with committing heinous crimes. Uh, and the other one, Jeff? O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson. Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Craig, what did you do there? It's a very big day today. It's National Intern Appreciation Day. <laughs> Whatever you do, you don't tell Bill Clinton about today. <laughs> Time to do some appreciating. <laughs> it's all you know what else it is today. It's National Sugar Cookie Day. The entire month of July is National Ice Cream Month. You're welcome, diabetes. <laughs> As Wilfred Brimley calls it, Jeff? Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> it's also a great day for Australia as the Australian Constitution Day. On this day in 1900, the Australian Constitution became law. Their Constitution is a little different from ours. Instead of going, we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, theirs goes, Crikey, Mike's, pick yourself off the bar floor and check this out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good night, Australians. Yeah. <laughs> Now, there's a big TV show tonight that premiered on CBS, Extant. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. I watched yeah. it, too. <laughs> well, you've got to stay inside in this heat, probably. Yeah, it's too much. Too much. <laughs> it, Extant, it stars Halle Berry, and it was produced by Steven Spielberg. So, you know, CBS spent money on it, just like they did this show. <laughs> Extant, uh, Halle Berry plays an astronaut who mysteriously, mysteriously, mysteriously what's the word I'm looking mysteriously. for? Mysteriously. Mysteriously winds up pregnant after a space mission. And the series uh, will answer the question, how did Arnold Schwarzenegger get onto the ship? <laughs> hey, do they have maids on the moon? <laughs> Now, what I really want to talk about is uh, today is the city of Montreal, the great city of Montreal. The Montreal Comedy Festival starts today. It's called uh, Just for Laughs or Juste pour Rire if you're French. And if you are French, but... Wow. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, uh, it, was a, it was a joke. I love the French. Particularly your cheese. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, Just for Laughs is the... <laughs> it's the biggest comedy festival in the world. So if you're a fan of comedy, why are you watching the show? But Just for Laughs, it's, one of, it's like one of those big music festivals, but with comedy. You could think of it as a joke cella or Laugh-a-Palooza or a Bonaroo. <laughs> Funny Bonaroo. Funny Bonaroo. Not just Bonaroo. <laughs> Funny Bonaroo. <laughs> Actually, Bonaroo is a notorious Australian porn film. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see, you seen that, Jeff? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, hell oh boy. Yeah. A lot of great comedians play the festival. The headliner this year is the legendary, my friend, your friend, the great Don oh, Rickles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, we, uh, did we have a picture of Don? I love Don. There he is. I, uh... <laughs> he looks good. He does. <laughs> well... <laughs> Very sexy. Looks good, yeah. Yeah. Is he had some work done? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Let me yeah. see him again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you showed me instead of Don Rickles. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I'm not yeah, doing it. It's too hot. Stuff. It's too hot, probably. Yeah, it's really hot, man. That's the problem. I can't do it anymore. It's too hot. No, the heat's getting to you, man. I, I, you know what I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to get this show out of the way and get tomorrow night's show done. Oh, that's going to be a great one. <laughs>
That, that's the one you want to be at. That's uh, the one. Because this one, you know, it's okay, I guess. It's hot in here, though. It actually is hot in here tonight. No, it is. I can feel it. And do you think it's hot in here? Yeah. The, yeah. See, the audience agree with me. You know why? Because they're not racist, man. <laughs> racist. Racist. You want to get us to the yeah, commercial sure, break? Sure. Yeah. All right. Sure. Tonight's program is brought to you by a sexy new thriller, a man in the outback with his front out. Craig Ferguson is Bonaroo. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, hey, let me just say, uh, it doesn't come together that easy. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, where do I normally sit? Over there. I'll be right there. Oh, play some late night music. Yes. The Shy Fellas, the shyest band in late night television. Uh, they're, uh, they're so shy they won't actually come. There's a whole backstory anyway. They're uh, fine. There we go. It's good. All right. All right. Let's, let's proceed, everyone. <laughs> that was good. They all like that. They yeah. were like, whoa. Like, uh, <laughs> applause. No applause. <laughs> wow, that's power, man. That's power. Uh, Jeff, what time is it? It is tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who enjoys to speak French fluently. <laughs> who enjoys a ten but can make do with a four. Didn't get a word of that, buddy. You get out of it what you put in. <laughs> Is that the one? Wait, that wait, one. wait, wait. That to be one. fair, to be fair, he had a lot longer to think yeah, about yeah, that than no, I. That's true, that's true. Play the jingle. <laughs> Tonight's tweets and emails are brought to you by... Horse. Horse. Jive Horse. Foxy Horse. Loving by day, pimping by night. Knocking out suckers with dynamite. He's one man mustache. Shut the front door. Horse. Yeah. All right, this is from uh, Albert in Winnipeg in Canada. Now, Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Canada has two distinct regions, the French-speaking region and the English-speaking region. Now, uh, Winnipeg is in the... The English-speaking English -speaking region. <laughs> if you said poutine in Winnipeg, they would kill you. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> That's not true. What? That's not true. No, That's we went to Winnipeg. Out. It was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, what a people. great time. We, had a, we were in the theater there. What was it called? Yeah, the, the Winnipeg the, Theater. The, yeah, that, the Winnipeg Theater, sure. <laughs> You know, the folks in Winnipeg, they don't call it Winnipeg, they call it The Peg. <laughs> <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> Actually, they are crazy. It's dark for about six months of the That's year. That's true, they go, yeah. And they go a little crazy. <laughs> I was there for a little while. I've told you this before. Oh, yeah, I remember. I that. shaved my entire body. I was, I, I was snowed into my hotel room, shaved my entire body, and when it grew back, the itchiness was exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> Albert in Winnipeg, Canada. I don't even can tell. He's a chick on a motorcycle. Oh, here, that's nice. Says. Yeah. I uh, says, Craig, what started the big feud between you and Miriam? Oh, Miriam. Oh, yeah, that oh, woman yeah, that calls woman. me sometimes. Sometimes she does. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, oh, Craig. It's Miriam. Miriam, I told you not to call me a old oh, bitch. I told you. <laughs> I hate you, Mario! I hate your stupid ass face! Temper. Pe personal call, hold on. Temper, temper, Mr. Ferguson. What, what did you say? I'm, I, have, I have trouble understanding you because I'm human. Oh, I have.
have trouble understanding you because I don't speak late night douche. <laughs> Well, neither do I for much longer, Miriam. Neither do I. You know, when you shaved your body, you know what you found? The peg. <laughs> Actually, I have to say, I have to say, Miriam, that was rather good. Yeah, I thought you'd like that one. Well, you know, it's all... Yeah, anyway, look, I've, I've got to get on. Uh, I'll scream abuse at you later, if you oh, don't mind. Oh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> Why don't you let Grandma buy you a drink after the show? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I thought that was that Jay Leno fly oh, there. Jay Leno fly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny stuff, man. It's good stuff. Oh. I'll be back in eight months. <laughs> <laughs> this is from uh, David in Newark, New Jersey. You ever been there? Newark, Newark, New Jersey. Yeah, Newark, sure. that's the place where they got that big machine. Yeah, that huge machine. What's it called again? It's a tractor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, David says, Craig, how can, I, uh, guy, how can a guy make it up to his girlfriend when he missed her birthday? Hear something there, Jeff? Is that a ghost? It sounded, it? it sounded like the sort of vague disapproval of about 120 people. Yeah. <laughs> about 120 people from the past. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's as if 120 people collectively gave you a two. <laughs> and that wouldn't be the first time that happened. <laughs> uh, how'd you, oh, if you forget your girlfriend's birthday, uh, move on. <laughs> Move yeah. on. Yeah, pack your things and just go. Yeah, just pack yeah. your things, because, you know... <laughs> Do you ever forget my birthday, like this year, for no, example? No, hell no. no. Yes, you no, did. did. No, I didn't. No. Yes, you did. No, man. No, I sent you a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Tweets don't count as a present. Yeah, man, you don't have me over at the house, man. You were, you were gone. You were, it was the weekend. Don't give me any crap, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Come on, sweetie, why don't you have a drink? Hey, 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 hey. Happy let it, let birthday, go, man. baby. What the hell was that? <laughs> what? What's going on? Uh, this is from Margaret. Uh, no, it's from Margot. Oh, well, I don't want to talk to her. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> This is from Avery in New York City. He says, Craig, I'm pretty sure I saw Secretariat in Central Park. Does he travel? Do you travel? <laughs> Where are you going uh, this summer? <laughs> Over there? That looks nice. Oh, uh, you don't know? You've never been? You've never been over there? It's only like four, it's only like 40 feet away from you. <laughs> oh, I see. There seems to be some sort of invisible force field between you and the fence uh, about 40 feet behind you. <laughs> if you're watching this show for the first time, it, it, move on. Uh, this is from Alan in Denver, Colorado, who says, Craig, how come you use pens and not pencils? Hello? Yeah, are you going to answer the question or what? <laughs> I sent you a letter. I want to know why. How come you don't use pen or pencils? Pens. <laughs> How come? You didn't answer it. Who is this? I, I'm just... This is Miriam again. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was you, Miriam. I told you. Don't call me <laughs> no bitch. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we have time for. <laughs> we'll be right back after these.
award-winning actor he stars in Masters of Sex. <laughs> Masters of Sex. Masters of Sex. Which is a show about pirates having sex, ah. apparently. <laughs> Masters of Sex. Now ah, touch me booty. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You get without with your booty. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Second season of uh, Masters of Sex premieres July the 13th on Showtime. Take a look at this. The Pride of Port Talbot, Michael Sheen, everybody. Michael Sheen. They gave you a 10 as well as the 10 they gave me, I said that was a 12. Well, it was a 12. You know, if you see a 12, maybe that's what it is. You, have you made these seats higher? than? I, they are a little... I'm basically <laughs> swinging my legs here. I can't... No, I think what it is is you've uh, developed a new system of sitting further back on the seat <laughs> than, than you used to. Is. Yeah. I like to relax. Or maybe well, your legs are getting shorter. Uh, maybe I am. No that does, that's not a that. thing. Is you know what? It, it, it looks like that, though, as you get older. You'll find this out. You're younger than me, but I am... Um, I've noticed that my legs look shorter because my testicles are descending. <laughs> or maybe your eyes are receding. My eyes are... It's further away. And maybe they're connected. As they go down, they get sucked in by, like... <laughs> so all I'd have to do is pull my eyes forward yeah. and everything would come back Every, up. It's, it's like the, the cheapest facelift in the world. Just pull your eyes out. Pull your eyes out and, it'll, and you'll get a bit of scrotal plumping. Yeah. <laughs> Do you worry about... I used to know a lad called scrotal, scrotal plumping. plumping? Yeah. Scrotal plumping is what we used to do in the summer holidays. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Anyway, you get naked a lot in this show, my friend. I, I a fair do, bit, anyway. Yeah. It, it, there's nothing like knowing that on Monday morning you're going to be standing there naked in front of a crew of hairy men to motivate you to get to the gym. Uh, that's the dream job, man. And by gym, I mean the man I keep running. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, No, you have to be very careful. You have to watch what you eat and do all that stuff. It's dreadful. You should do a talk show. It's much easier. It's like, it's like torture. Because when you're doing the show, they have a thing called craft service, which is where they keep every delectable food known to man waiting for you. At any point in the day, you can eat it. And so the torture is they leave all that out there. Donuts and, you know... Oh, say that again. Say that again. Donuts. Oh, donuts, yeah. And cup Cupcakes. Cupcakes are hard. Right. Booty. Booty. Uh, and they leave all that out there, and then you, you sort of, you, you want to eat it all, and then you remember, oh yes, I've got to be standing naked in front of you all masturbating by Monday. <laughs> he well, knows what I'm talking that, about. That's a, <laughs> that's a workout video that I'd like to see. I, I... But there has to be a, a, a you know, there's a, a, you get a time lapse. Like, if, you, if you're going to shoot a, a naked scene, you can mm. eat the donut because you've got time before the donut molecules turn to fat. It doesn't just, you don't just eat, you know, it, it's like, you got, you've oh, got... Oh, no, when I, when I eat donuts, it is immediately, really? yes. Instant. Well. The eyes come out, the feet come I, uh, up. Feet come up, the testicles descend. Yeah. The whole thing, the whole thing. That's not donuts. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you said craft services, I thought you were going to say craft work, the seminal <laughs> German electronic oh, band. Now, here's a question. On the um, opening theme tune of this, and you're of the, singing, the, the song. of this show, yes. why do you go London all of a sudden? Well, hi, I, hi, I enjoy that. Hi, it's, it's because, it's because I, I like doing that. It's because I loved David Bowie when I was... I still ah. love David Bowie. And David Bowie goes, Oh, he soaks like that and sings like... Because they wanted David Bowie to be Tommy Steele. When he started right, yeah, out, yeah, Tommy Steele was a kind of I hear Cockney yeah. half a six, but yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, David Bowie used to sing like uh, very light, and he knew that's yeah, he... right. She would say things are coming down. But what about what's your favourite David Bowie period? Is it I think labyrinth uh, in no, the in the elf? No, game? man, no. Twilight off, my friend. <laughs> no. No, it, for me it has to be, I think, the Thin White Duke. Thin White Duke. Do just a, a little bit after, um, after Ziggy. Ziggy, yeah, when he's a little kind of, this is me in America. Ah, 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 and the thing comes down and the, he comes out of the, the skull and he, ah, oh my, it's, yeah. So, What's your favourite David Bowie period? Then? Uh, when he stopped taking drugs. So it hasn't happened <laughs> no. yet. Yeah. 
No, I don't think he's a big. But then he went all kind of like blonde head and tanned and let's dance. Oh all yeah, that, that yeah. Did you like that? I wasn't so sure about that. I loved the the makeup across the face. Ziggy, and the, yeah. The no eyebrows and all. Aladdin that. saying. Do you ever yeah. shave your eyebrows off? I did. I did a film called Tron. Oh yeah, yeah. Sequel yes, to yeah, Tron. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I sort of based that character on Ziggy. So I had no eyebrows in that and and white hair and all that kind of stuff. Did you notice that when you had no eyebrows, when you weren't wearing makeup, that people thought you were surprised all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they thought I was a very strange alien coming. Well, it's a very odd look. I did it once myself. Uh, I wasn't in a film, but I was, I was going, <laughs> but I had planned on going to see one later, and so I shaved my eyebrows off. When I was, when I was at drama school, uh, because this is what the sort of thing that people do when they're at drama school, I, uh, I shaved all my hair off. Right. Uh, for a play that we were doing at, at, at school. And it was only then that I discovered I have a totally flat head at the back. Do you really? Yeah, terrible. Let me see. Let me see. You know, <gasps> I, know, I know how special... <laughs> I have special haircuts. Really? To allow for more hair at the back because my head is so flat at the back. Is that because when you were a baby you lay like that? <laughs> it was because my mother used to tell me to shut up by banging my head against the table like that, I think. No, I, no she didn't. She, she didn't, didn't do that. <laughs> She didn't do that. I mean, he is Welsh, but he's joking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I have no idea. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there was like a forcep situation going on. and uh, I, don't, I don't know, but I have a flat head. But I think it's maybe just genetic. Some people are, you know, cursed with the, the shelf-like... <laughs> yeah. It, it looks very good, actually. As I look Thank at it you. now, it's very noble-looking. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, I knew you'd be all right. But what I did was, I, in order to not look stupid with a flat shaved head, mm -hmm. I decided to wear, <laughs> I decided to wear an old battered top hat <laughs> instead, because I was at drama school. Oh, yes, of course. And yeah. so I wore an old battered top hat and a three-piece tweed suit, oh, and I would walk good. into shops and go, I will have... Oh, this is not on stage, this is just no, walking is, around? Is, just a, yeah, whilst oh, on Oh, you horse's ass. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just yeah. awful. Oh, God. Yeah, I've done some. I used to... I went through a, a phase of dressing up like a vicar. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, why on I earth? I thought it was daring. I used to I used to have, like, a dog collar like a preacher and have eye makeup on. I was like, oh, yeah. That was only last week. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, was that in the 80s? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a bad time. You were in a punk band? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was yeah. the name of your punk band? Uh, the Bastards from Hell. And then... <laughs> were you ever in a band? I was in a band. I wished I was in a band. I did a radio show just over Christmas time. Uh, I was asked to do a radio show about the music I was listening to when I was a kid in the 80s. Because I right. was about 11 in 1980 and like 19... by the end of the 80s. Right. So I grew up through the 80s. So the first music I was really into was, you, di you didn't call it this over here, but they, in Britain they were called the New Romantics. New Romantics, yeah, 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 yeah. Boy George was kind of one of them, well, Spandau kinda, Ballet, that kind of thing. It was more like sci-fi, like Duran Duran when they first started. Right, all right then, yeah. Box. And Adamant, anyone remember Adamant? Adamant, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, You're welcome, senior citizen. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So I got Adam Ant on the show, and Did Howard you... Jones, do you remember Howard? Oh, yeah, Howard Jones was the, uh, um, oh, God, yeah. Uh, um... You know, the, on the keyboards, and yeah, he had yeah. the guy who was pretending he was in chains doing money. Well, who was the guy that did, she blinded me with science? That was Thomas Dolby. Oh, I love that, she blinded yes. me with science. Oh, I love that. He's still, he's still around, he's still doing great stuff, Thomas Dolby. Really? Yeah. yeah. You know, I went to see Gary Newman in uh, Toronto. I, well, I went to see him here. Did, wasn't he great? I had him on the radio show. No, you just not oh. believable. Why can't we get him on here? He had him on the radio show. I can have a show. Well, Gary knew him. He was fantastic. And he sang Down in the Park. Down in the uh, Park with the friend called Fine. With the friend called Fine. <laughs> yeah. He told me that um, the reason why he had that very serious look when he was singing was because he had terrible teeth and he didn't want to smile. Really? Yeah, yeah. Which well, is interesting. Sad. Because that's also what Tony Blair was told. That Tony Blair was told that he had terrible teeth. So he, he tried not to smile to begin with. And then I think he had his teeth done and then he started smiling. Oh, A yeah. bit too much, maybe. Yeah, he smiled way too much in the end. <laughs> Hmm. Mm. I'll tell you a story about Gary Newman. Yeah. When I, I was a bit older than you, I still am. And the, uh, <laughs> when Gary Newman came out, he, he was pretending to be a robot and he was all like, mm. Mm, mm, mm. and the bass player and the guitarist and the keyboards and everything, they were all pretending to be robots, but the drummer was very cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> so he used to be like, they were all going like, we are robots and very turn. And the drummer was like, hey, yeah, that, 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 that. And, and he had big fuzzy hair and stuff, but he was a great drummer. But you could tell the arguments, you know, they'd be like, oh. will you please pretend to be a robot just Dave, a little bit? Be more pissed off, Dave. I can't, I'm just happy, I can't! <laughs>
Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. I, where did you do a radio show for? The BBC? The BBC, yeah. Good for you. I did one from here um, very recently, just a few weeks ago. Uh, it went out live in, in, in Britain, but I, I recorded it here, and it was all about David Lynch. Ooh. Music in David Lynch films, and music he's produced, music that could be in David Lynch films. He's a strange And then he customer. was my guest on the show. I, I'm very impressed with him. I made his list of best-dressed people once. Wait, does he do a list of best-dressed people? Every now and again, yeah. <laughs> He's a very odd dude. And Remember, he's the man who always wears exactly the same thing. Right. Well, so he didn't put himself on the list. No. Yeah. So he's uh, easily impressed, is what I'm saying. Well, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. Oh. You probably don't know anything about that working for the <laughs> BBC. But... <laughs> we'll be right back. Martin, who just asked me, oh, oh, you're starting again. Should I leave? <laughs> no, 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 you can stay. All right, so, your trousers are very shiny. Thank you. Is that on purpose or are they old? They're just very old. No, no, they are shiny on purpose. They're very good. Yeah, they look just... like leather. Yeah. But without the discomfort. <laughs> Some of us wear leather for that discomfort. <laughs> with, a, with less. I got on that. Going on. Is that not a. Groggy. Is that a word? No. Chafing. Let's chafing. Chafing, yeah. <laughs> but, let's, but let's take a step back and look at the word strudel. Where does that come from? Isn't, isn't Ooh, la, la. what dogs do to your leg when they... When they hump it? That's, that's humping. Hump Ooh. Humping your leg. I think croissant is perhaps a French-Canadian word. Ah. Ah, mais oui. Où est le French-Canadien? Uh, dans French-Canada. <laughs> ah. Ah, ah. Have you ever ah, been oui. to Montreal? I have. I remember nice, lots of very cobbly streets. Cobbly streets and uh, s people going around on bicycles selling onions. Yes. <laughs> Wearing striped t-shirts. That's right. And berets. And Charles Aznavour. Charles Aznavour. Uh, no, that is, that's France. That's not. Oh, yeah, that's France. Yeah, sorry. French Canada is poutine. Have you ever had poutine? Uh, I, I had it removed and it was never poutine again. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he had a bit more time than I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like poutine. Do you know what it is? Uh, it's sort of like brown goo that gets put on top of... I think that's unfair to our French-Canadian brothers and sisters. It's French fries with, uh, or as they call them, fries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the word French is redondant. You don't need to some French fries <laughs> if you're at a sport French. <laughs> Do you, can you speak French? I can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, yeah. Well, suppose we could conduct the rest of the show in French. I would very much like that. <laughs> you know, sometimes when people can't speak French, yeah. they hear people speaking French, yeah. it just sounds like people speaking English with a stupid accent. I hate that. I, I hate know. It. I know. I hate those people. Those people are stupid people. <laughs> I, can't, I, I, I can't go on. <laughs> No, let's not stop. All right, all right, all right. All right. So, uh, what is your favorite cheese? My favorite cheese is my blue cheese. Blue cheese? Uh, oh, you mean blue cheese? <laughs> I don't know what you talk about. Wait, we sound a little Italian all of a sudden. He's getting a little Groucho Marx, I think. Chico Marx, Chico Marx. Let's go all over uh, Europe now. Okay, it's time to go to Germany. Ah. Oh, no! Dracula! I'm Dracula! <laughs> we are in Transylvania now. Trans oh, oh when, yes. When, yes. I was, um, when I was about uh, 17, I got a job at Wales' first drive through burger bar. I see. Yes. <laughs> now, you're going to see where I'm going with this in a minute. Okay, I'm um, happy to go and, with you. And uh, I used to have to stand in a little porter cabin thing because they didn't have enough money to have an actual shop. So they just had a little, you know, portable cabin thing at the side of the motorway, freeway, if you're American, uh, the side of the motorway. Many of these people are American. Yeah. Uh, 
and I used to have to speak into a little speaker thing and you'd see the cars come in on a little monitor inside the port cabin and then you'd have to go, hello, welcome to Burgermaster, for that was its name. Welcome to Burgermaster, can I take your order please? And I used to get so bored by this mm. that at night time eventually I would start making up voices to do it in. And one of the voices I did it in was the rock. I see. Hello, welcome to Burgermaster. <laughs> May I take your order, please? Oh, 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 oh. That's what I said. Yes, I would like a blue cheeseburger. <laughs> we don't serve Italians in here. <laughs> no, you don't serve Italians. You're a racist. You're a racist Dracula. Wales is first <laughs> racist vampiric burger bar. A racist vampire hamburger. Right. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's a because there were many normal ones of that. Right, right, when right. Drive-through yeah. racist vampire burger bars. You know that sounds like something on uh, the Cartoon Network or something, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you ever watch Adventure Time? No, my my uh, I've been told about it though. Yes, I've read it. Your daughter watch it? My daughter's watch. Yeah, my my oldest boy watches it. It's fantastic. Have you ever Things have gone crazy ever since SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, it's no, gone mental. But Adventure Time's like like it's really good. It's like a story and everything. <laughs> yeah. Like in my day, it was, you know, the cat chased the mouse and they killed each other. <laughs> that was a cartoon. Yeah. Nowadays, people are having feelings and shorting stuff out. What, stories? Stories. There's, there's the, the Ice King, who's, his backstory is so sad. <laughs> the Finn and Jake, they... they is that the one with Captain Knuckles? No, that's another one. What's that one? <laughs> <laughs> I think you made that one up. Have I... <laughs> Made that Captain Knuckles and Tootsie Fruits. And oh, yeah, Captain Knuckles and Bollocks. Oh. Poutine Cheese Show. Yeah. <laughs> Big French Canadian cartoon, very popular with the kids. What's the, there's, um, you say poutine, mm. but what's the Irish moonshine called? Isn't that called poutine as well? Poutine. Poutine. Oh, well, of course, there's a massive difference there, isn't there? Well, it's two separate words, for goodness sake. I mean,. You, you're getting mad at me like I've got something to do with that. I just provided you with the information. You're like, oh, 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 well, that's so different. Like, I, I'm it. just telling you. But you said it like I was the stupidest person. Well, one's called poutine, the other one's called poutine. What's wrong with you? Of course they're completely different. But what, like, surely there's been terrible. I hate it when we fight. <laughs> then you must not argue with me. I God. can't dance this anymore. Michael Sheen, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> the cat said, goodness me. <laughs> well, do you know what I found out tonight, Jack? What did you find out, Craig? Well, that word that uh, Michael Sheen kept saying about his trousers uh, that we were listening to, we've bleeped it out, which is amazing on a live show. But the, uh, <laughs> because you can't say it, it's a real thing. That's a real word. Yeah, apparently it's when two dudes uh, rub against each other for pleasure. <laughs> Would you like to show me? Yes. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs>